Launch the lab. So let's go. Target Windows 01. Open the connections folder. And we are going to double click pump monitor. Double click pump monitor. Now you're like, oh, what do I log in as? Oh, I got to look up here. And step three, log in with the following user and password. I would write those down. I got this document here. I'm keeping track of that. Boom, pump monitor login is username and password. So, you no, user, password. Yay. I'm in. Looks like it's good. You'll notice it works because user and password. So, pump monitor is going to monitor what PLC is doing, and pump monitor also sends things to Web01. To capture network traffic, you use a command line version of Wireshark called TCP dump. All right, because this is this is Linux, and this at least version of Linux is text-based. So TCP dump, not just regular Wireshark. So we're going to enter this command. This is going to be super useful. I would copy this. In fact, I put in my notes right here. So if you remember how to copy, you go Control Shift Alt to op if you want to paste into the lab. You paste it right there, and then I can just like change my name right here. So I'm going to say Murphy period two, because that's what I'm doing right now. Now, to make this paste correctly, I think I just minimize and I go Control V to paste. No, wait. Okay, you got to like highlight this again, go copy again, Control C, and then Control V to paste. Wait. And then I had to like right click this or something weird. I don't know. It was being weird. I would paste and then right click it and all of a sudden it works. So I don't know why, but there we go, hit enter. Oh, it's gonna ask the password, so I'm gonna type password again. And now it's listening. It's just like Wireshark starts listening, this starts listening too. We're done with that for now, all right? Oh, there's some flags in here, explains what they are. Maybe that's useful later. So great, read them up. I put them all in my notes. Record the pseudo. Yep, record in your notes because you're gonna need this later. Now we're gonna open up pump PLC connections in the connections folder. So pump PLC. And the login is different for this one. The login is gonna be vagrant, vagrant. Why couldn't it just be the same? I don't know. Vagrant, ba vagrant. Lagging out for me, kind of weird. Okay. Kind of weird. Just like really slow. I'm gonna try it again. Maybe it was just being slow for me right now. Okay, I think it's just being super slow, but oh well. And then we're gonna do this TCP dump. Now, notice here, we ha oh, when we did the last one, we had to change the your name part, so change it. This is not this exact same thing we just copied up here. Um, this is this is called pump monitor, and this says pump PLC. But the also, the flag is different. This one does an at dash I E N S five. This is dash I E N E F zero right here. So it is slightly different. I don't know what the difference is, but I don't care what the difference is. So we're gonna copy, I'm sure you can check the flags. Network interface monitor, sure. Okay, so now I'm in right here. So I'm gonna paste this and I'm gonna change my name to Rofi P2. And I'm gonna copy all that again, Control C, close this out, Control Shift Alt. Control V and then right click it and somehow I didn't have to right click for other things, but it seems these terminals want me to do that. And now it's listening. So there it goes. So just like they're both listening, but there's no traffic being generated. Well, there might be, but I don't know right now. I'm trying to ignore the traffic from my login session too. Okay, so I've done that. I've done step six. Good. Now listen to both. Now we're gonna open. Establish another connection to pump monitor right here in step seven. Another connection. So keep those two running. Yeah, another one over here. And this username was user password. 
And so another pump monitor connection, those other two still running in the background. We're going to FTP into pump PLC. So the next part is I want to grab that log file. So we're generating some network traffic here. And that's for those Wireshark, those PCAP files to grab some stuff. We're gonna F FTP into pump PLC to grab the log file and then save it onto pump monitor to generate this as part of our baseline traffic. So FTP into 10.2.0.5, was it 10.2.0.5? Yeah, and if you don't remember, 10.2.0.5 is the IP address for the pump PLC. FTP into this. Okay, it says it's connected and it says, oh, I want some information. Uh, you have to type the user and password for pump PLC, which is vagrant for both. And then you're in. All right, now it says FTP right here. And now I can use like LS to see what files are on there if I wanted to. Notice the files and it, I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so you can see that a little better. Uh, it has Brophy PCAP file, hold on. Uh, this is that PCAP file I'm generating over here. This VBox, whatever, a.out, and pump log, pump log.txt. That's the actual one we want right now. Okay. So the file you want to transfer is listed. Since you're running FTP, you can use the git command to retrieve this file from pump PLC. Uh, maybe, so maybe, maybe you want to write that down in here too. I'm going to actually write that down. Uh, git. I hate how it updates. Go file name. Go after FT. FT. This gets file to computer or whatever. I, I think I'll know what I that means. So get pump log that text. What's up? All right, so we can tell that it did transfer completely. Now, let's say we wanna confirm that it transferred over. We're gonna, step 11, we're gonna hit quit. Hit quit to quit FTP. And we're back in as our pump monitor, I can do LS. And notice you'll see this pump log.txt. If I would have done that at the beginning, that would've been good to see, but that didn't exist there before, all right? Why don't you do ls-la to get more details? Uh-oh. They say, oh, look, I just generated it right now because it's February 4th. Cool. I don't know if that matters to you, but it's there. So how can you verify the files there? ls command. Oh, we just did it. So we can close that pump monitor session. No, just, just this one. We're done. We transferred this over. I'm going to close this session, not the capture. You have two systems running TCP dump on, on ponder, pump monitor and PLC. We're going to terminate both those connections. Terminate with control C. So hit control C, go in here, go control C, stopped it. In here, control C, stopped it. That means we're done capturing traffic because we wanted to capture that FTP traffic on both sides. And the packet capture stops and you see the command line prompt. When the packet capture is terminated, it generates an output file. Use the ls command to confirm the baseline file on each host. So if I do ls over here, you'll see brophy2 pump monitor baseline. That's the one I created. And same thing over here. I'll see brophy2 pump monitor baseline. Awesome. So both of these, but pump PLC baseline. All right. So both of these are created. We're good. All right, you now able to you now need to save these files in local machine. So this is okay. This is kind of weird. You haven't. I think you did this earlier on in the year, but this is weird now. How do you actually transfer it from the virtual lab to your real machine? Because we're going to need these later. How do you transfer files? And here's how you do it. We're going to open a PowerShell. Oh wait. When a packet is ls command, you now need to save your base to a two-step process first we need to transfer it to target windows 01 then transfer it to target windows 01 to the local machine all right so yeah these are on these we need to bring them over here right 
How do we do that? Okay. So we have to open up a PowerShell. That's step 16. Open up a PowerShell and target Windows 01 and FTP to pump monitor. So we're going to do this one at a time. Pump monitor, which is 10206. So we're in here. We're going to FTP to 10206. It says, give me your password information. Remember, that is user and password or pump monitor. And now I'm FTP'd in. Now, I can do LS to look at things. And this, okay, you know, it's not as pretty as in, in these terminals. But you can see all the stuff in there. I have, here's that file. Here's everything in there. I need to get this. But now here's a weird thing. Wirecat. Wireshark PCAP files are not text files. They are more dense binary format and FTP needs to transfer them using a binary mode. So enter binary command to change to this mode. So you gotta go binary, this is kind of random. Switching to binary mode, okay, cool. And now we're gonna use a git command to transfer it from pump monitor and then we're gonna quit. So now we can go git that file. And you know what's neat? You can actually just copy and paste right here. Copy, paste, get, transfer complete. Awesome. Now I can quit. We can go ls right here. And notice when I list everything and users administrator, roughly pump baseline is there. That's cool. If you check out this, let's say I go to C users administrator. It's also there. Good. So I want to see. Now. I've done that for pump monitor. Guess what? Repeat this for pump PLC, same steps. So FTP, it's gonna be 10 to zero five. You're like, why is it five? Remember pump PLC is 10 to zero five for the IP address. Write that to, like, you're gonna use this a lot. Uh-huh, and oh, what's going on? Enter. Don't you dare freeze on me. What's going on? Oh boy, don't freeze on me. Okay, username password. Now this one is vagrant. Vagrant. Different user and password. Now I'm in. If I ls, I can see I have this Brophy pump PLC baseline. So I want to do the same thing. I got to do binary first. Don't forget the binary. Easy to forget. I don't know what it does if you don't do the binary. And then we're gonna get this file. So I'm just gonna copy paste because it's so much easier that way. And it transfers complete. Notice, you might've noticed this popped up down here. So quit, I can LS to see, hey, now I have pump PLC there. And in that same location, that file's right there. Awesome. So now I've saved these onto this virtual machine. Now I want to save these files on my personal computer because I'm going to need these for future lessons. So how do you do that? Okay, I've done this step 17. I, I, I've gotten here because I can see both of these. Good. Now, how do we send these to our local machines? What I want you to do is we're going to, we're going to drag these. It's G drive guacamole. It's this G drive. And then in the downloads, there's a download folder. Anytime you drag files into download, it actually downloads on your local PC. So highlight, drag, drop, and it's popping up down here. So maybe I save these in your Google Drive, you're on a Chromebook, or you save those somewhere on your desktop, and you're gonna need these for future lessons, all right? If I see these, I have a few saved. My other downloads there. There you go. All right. You're gonna these are the first two files. You're gonna have like five files total in three two two. For this part of the lesson, that's all we're doing. Uh add a picture of this network topology because this is important to this to make a note, and you can draw a picture very similar to this. That this baseline one traffic is about FTPing from a uh, monitor, you're FTPing from P pump PLC to pump monitor. This pulls up an FTP connection, so it grabs traffic. So we captured on both of these PCs, 
because eventually we're going to look at this stuff and use this baseline. This should be normal traffic. But if we saw like traffic going the other way, like monitor putting stuff in, that'd be bad news. So that's it. I'll do part two later on.